Well, good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, it's time just to go out and take a ride. Just go take a ride. I, uh, knowing that I'm just out riding, I thought I'm going to better check the weather. Today is 80% 80, 80 chance of rain, which I thought sure don't look like 80% chance of rain out there. So I thought I'm going for a ride anyway. Now I guess, guess it's nice just to sit in a air conditioned house and be nice and cool all day rather than come out and ride where it's 90 degrees. But I can't just sit there, do nothing. So I thought, well, I'm going for a ride. There the sun's out. So, now Keith has a uh, replay camera, same thing I have, and uh, I can turn on my replay, and it a videotape for almost a half hour, and then what it does is uh, it'll shut off but then it'll turn right back on so you know like yesterday I had probably uh, two and a half hours of footage that uh, I made and uh, I never had to turn the camera on or off or anything it just how many hours total can I get out of the camera I have never found out <laughs> I don't know that yet but uh, so I don't know if, if my card would fill before the battery would die or if the battery would die before the card would fill but whatever right hey if you can get two and a half hours of footage I guess that's something but uh, of course then putting two and a half hours of footage up uh, you're talking about all night long for YouTube I don't know why YouTube can't pick up the speed I mean, if, uh, if YouTube is such a great deal and everything, you know, according to the people that own YouTube, then when you're putting up a, a two-minute video, it should only take them two minutes to put it up, plus another added minute for processing. So, you know, three minutes is far, far enough time for a two-minute video. you put up a 30 minute video it should take 30 minutes to put it up and you know five ten minutes processing and that's 40 minutes wasted just sitting of course I don't just sit I go do stuff and let her do whatever it has to but uh, no why can't YouTube do that <laughs> when I put up a a lot of my videos I put up yesterday were 29 minutes long. 29 minutes, 45 seconds, something like that. Almost a half hour long. And I put five of them up. I started, you know, after I had them you know, on uh, Movie Magics, turned into movies and everything. And then started to uh, upload them onto YouTube. The first one said it was going to take 189 minutes to upload. And that's not including processing. That's just to upload. 
And that's just one of five. And it's like, holy crap. Well then two, my uh, computer likes to go to sleep. So if I just set it on that to, you know, tell it to YouTube to upload them, my computer don't recognize that. It'll stay up maybe 15 minutes at the most, and it says, screw it. It shuts down and goes to sleep. Well, when it shuts down and goes to sleep, <laughs> it doesn't, uh, my tapes, you know, my recording thing is everything is done. It just shuts off. Then they got to start all over. So, I, uh, usually go to favorites or whatever, whatever has, you know, like, yesterday it looked like it's going to be an all-night thing to put up five videos. So I got on the likes, and uh, seen there was 2,000 and some likes. Uh, videos you can watch so I just turn that on and as long as that's playing the computer thinks you're there so it uh, it continue to run so I usually turn it on you know play all 2,000 and some videos then uh, walk away let the computer think I'm sitting there watching that, which I'm not. Of course, while I'm uh, doing that, somewhere, I'm not sure when, but one of the videos has been taken down or something, but it's still on the list. Well, it tries to bring it up, then it won't play it because it's been taken down or whatever. So, of course, that lasts about 15 minutes, just sitting there looking at, you know, been taken down, sorry, la la la. <clears throat> and then my computer says, well, been long enough, I'm going to sleep, and it shuts off. Luckily, when that happened sometime last night, all five of my uh, videos were all uploaded and processed, so I had them. But now on my uh, old site that I used to have, but now I, uh, me and Keith just got the one site, the Buckeye Boys. But my old site I used to have, I had uh, music that I liked. So I just turn it on and just let it play over and over and over and over as many times as it had to play so it would keep the, the computer awake long enough to do stuff. But that's the brakes I guess. I suppose I could find a setting and set my computer and say oh no never go to sleep never shut off. Then I'd be doing fine. I could just put on upload walk away but I don't care to do that because if I do that I'll forget sometime to shut it off the normal thing is to watch something I'm done I walk away and the computer itself goes to sleep oh yeah well anyway I, I get uh, like I was saying, my camera do uh, a half hour clip, shut off, and turn right back on. And like I said, yesterday I went two and a half hours, the camera's still recording until I got home and shut it off. But now Keith's got the same camera as I do, the replay. And he says he's lucky to get 20 minutes out of it and the battery's dead. I don't know but then he says sometimes he turns it on and it's only on for like uh, sometimes just a minute or less sometimes 10 minutes just it just shuts off whenever it feels like and it's done or something 
But then he bought his camera. He didn't buy the the set like I got, uh, which I have to thank uh, Big Bill Chicago. He's the one that got it for me at a uh, meetup. I think he bought two or three of the replay cameras, the good stuff, and gave them away as sort of like door prizes. So again, I say thank you, Big Bill. But anyway, uh, Keith bought the uh, cheaper version of the uh, replay, which is just the camera. He didn't get all the extras with it and all this and that. So that might be part of his problem. He didn't, you know, spend the big bucks and get the whole whole nine yards. But then he had to make up his own mic by putting a dongle on and all this and that and a bunch of blah, blah, blah. But, you know, hey, one of these days we'll get it all figured out. Then what are you going to do? So I'm just going to probably more or less shut my mouth. Let you enjoy the ride. And we are going uh, south down Interstate 77 in Ohio. And we're probably about mile marker, uh, taking a guess, I'd say 67 or 68. So I'm going to let you guys go ahead and uh, enjoy the view. And maybe I'll say something, maybe I won't. I don't know. So if I don't say nothing in the end, just remember, I'll see you next Tuesday. lucky we got we got two big things of wood again well now we could take care of that in one day easy yeah, but good. I'll leave some for someone else I know somebody else has been coming and getting it it feels good and uh, we got sticks and we got slabs what do you like better uh, yeah I kind of like the slabs too they're a little more work but some of them are big and thick and got a lot of wood on them now Let's let's show you guys something. Let's take a time. Well, first thing we got to do is get this saw out of the hole here. Seems to be uh, quite a few bikes out here today. Keaton's going to show you how easy it is to put these seats down. Yep, pull a strap. Pull a strap. And pull a strap. Look at that. Look at that. The only thing he didn't do, I usually do. Now this, you can unattach it, and it goes up into the top. Yeah, I usually, there you go, he's doing it now. <coughs> I usually put it under the seat over in the corner, just to get it out of the way. Very good job, Keaton. That's easy. That's easy, easy peasy. This thing needs cleaned out. There's my kimchi cooler, and something Keaton was doing the pizza box. Little pieces of dog food, Pepsi can, my coat from work from years ago. Yeah, I told Keaton if they don't have wood, we're gonna go clean the van out. And then I realized I don't have any cash with me, so. Yeah. <clears throat> Dog keeps drinking my coffee, because I asked for eight sugars in it, and a large coffee, and they put eight creamers in it. Apparently the dog likes coffee if it's full of creamer. And it is creamy. So anyway, what a wonderful day we're having. I uh, already did some work on wood, and now we're going to do some more. All right.
I'm driving just a just a needle thickness apart away from 70 so I'm over 70 mile an hour I suppose down 72 and watching behind me and you've seen already the vehicles passing me it's like why, why do people do that uh, they see the speed limit 70 they think they can go 75 and 80 and they say well you know a radar got a leave way and all this and that uh, it's okay it's no it, it was posted at 70 why can't you do 70 But if you have a GPS, that GPS tells you how fast you're going. So I say, if that GPS is accurate on your speed, which it's supposed to be, then no matter what make, there from now on, no matter what make or whatever cars or bikes or anything that's out there, they ought to put like a GPS thing in for the speed limit for your odometer. Your uh, tells you how fast you're going. And then once they get all cars set up that way, and the speed limit says 70 mile an hour then I think that's what everybody be, should be doing. No more than 70 mile an hour. Because you're all set up on GPS. You're all doing the same speed. That way I don't say there's a, well there might be a discrepancy between my speedometer and somebody else, blah blah blah. That way everybody's the same. Everybody's got the same speed. That way Highway Patrol could just go around and start nailing everybody. No, if it says 70, they expect you to be doing 70. I mean, if they're nailed for 71, nail them. Give them a ticket. And to help out people not speeding so much, you know, make it like $100 every mile over the speed limit. Just nail them good. That way these people will think they can get away at doing 80 and all that. You know, let them get a nice hefty fine. Maybe they'll realize, you know, if I want any money, maybe I should slow down and start obeying the law. Yeah, see, I'm, well, I'm behind this truck right now. I'm probably doing about 68. But, you know, people pass me. Oh, this truck wants to go, too. So there's what's slowing the truck down. Now, now I'm back up 70. No, I think people should just do the speed limit. And I'm done. Bye. Talk about excitement. All that shit, would you? All right, so I'm going to go uh, wash up a little bit so that I'm proper enough to take down the laundry and uh, put up a, well, I had to edit and render a video, get it going up on the YouTubes. Uh, I'll make something for the family to eat and uh, take a shower not in any particular order because I'm too tired to think about it. <laughs> it's gonna, we're Chinook's rolling in. We got most of our outdoor work done, so we're doing pretty good. Oh. Oh boy, there just ain't time in the day to get everything done needs done. Uh, this grass starting to turn into a hay field around here. And oh, I gotta do something about that garden. I'm just letting it go, isn't working. 
and uh, I found some easy uh, easy kindling at the water plant last night I picked that up and brought it home we got to unload that you know I have to give you at least one load of wood today too and oh there's just so much to do and I was wanting to make this an easy day just take it easy because I've been tired a little bit today but maybe it's just because I haven't really got up and started really you know hammering away at things we'll see we'll see how she goes a blue jay in the house or a blue bird in the house uh, cut no video well we uh, we've had a full morning so far uh, went and did the same old thing, got more lumber, uh, got a little extra, well, firewood. We got a little extra firewood that we normally wouldn't get. Um, and uh, it's sad kind of for me because I'm so soft. But uh, now we're going to go out and get ourselves something nice to eat. And uh, going, to, going to Patty's place. But uh, what's sad for me is it's the first time that uh, we've gone somewhere without the, without well, Charlie. Second time. Yeah, uh, second time, first time didn't work too well. But anyway, uh, we we kind of waited for him to take his nap. He always well after I did the uh, stacked up all the firewood, I went in, and uploaded my uh, video for today, which is from yesterday. And uh, Charlie always follows me in the room and falls asleep when I'm doing that. So we kind of uh, snuck out. Of course, Charlie, he won't sleep for more than probably 10 or 15 minutes at a time. He's like a cat. And, uh, <laughs> so I feel bad because I know he'll be, he's a real good dog. He doesn't bark or anything, but he kind of uh, whines and does this sort of real quiet howling thing. And, uh, and that, but uh, it just makes me sad to see him doing that. <laughs> yeah, Keaton's more of a normal person, I think, <laughs> and I'm just a big, big old softy, you know. But if we don't start leaving him home, you know, we'll never get to leave him home. We'll have to take him everywhere we go, and that means there's a lot of places we won't be able to go, like uh, Patty's place. So while it, it sucks, it's something that just has to be done. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm bringing y'all down, bringing y'all down. But it's don't don't get all down. It's a good day. It's been a good day. We've got a lot of stuff done, and it's only 10:30 in the morning. But uh, Keaton and I are both hungry for some good food. We just passed two possums. Yeah, we did two roadkill possums. We just straddled. Uh, since I started talking, you start rambling, just like, you gab it on. Oh, it just sickens me. I'm sick for myself. But uh, probably that'd be good food, too, huh? And possum laying there. Probably half cooked already. Old sun bloated possums. Oh, that'd be good. Just a full of maggots. We could use them for maybe fishing or something. Get some fish. We gotta have fish and possum. What do you think? No. Probably ain't been there that long. Ain't got that much oil and rubber on it yet. Yeah. All right, well, let's keep this day a moving, why don't we? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, guy behind me. Guy in front of me. Guy behind me is damn near tailgating me. The guy in front of me pulls out and damn near stops. Hey, we was almost a sandwich. Boy, a sandwich sounds good. All right, if anything exciting happens, I'll let you all know.
Hey, Keaton. Hi. How you doing? Good. Oh, that's good to hear. It's good to hear. So here, here we are. This is uh, Patty's place. Pretty nice place. Pretty nice place. It's an eatery. It's an eatery, and that's what we're planning to do. Is get our eat on here. <laughs> yeah, the burgers here are so good. It's like they use real beef. A lot of these joints around here use that pink goo meat or something. I don't know what it is. Now, look, I think horse meat tastes better because uh, Burger King used horse meat and it fooled people. So it's got to be better than what most places use around here. But this place uses good beef. And that's why we like to come here so much. 